Hey there, Vince here, and welcome to this terrible lighting on another quick bug report for Circuit Rewind. And the reason for that is I need really bright lights to show off what this bug really is. And that bug just so happens to be this Framework laptop. So a couple weeks ago, I upgraded my Framework laptop from the 11th gen Intel motherboard to the 13th gen Intel motherboard. And uh, the main reason for it is um, on the Windows side, I don't really need the performance, but I also dual boot this thing for FreeBSD. And in FreeBSD, I do a lot of compiling for the kernel, for world, for ports, things like that. And going from just a quad core processor to four performance cores and then eight efficiency cores, and even just the four performance cores being faster than the old four cores I had total, uh, things are compiling a hell of a lot faster and I'm really, really loving that. Additionally, I bumped it up to 64 gigs of 3200 mega transfers per second. Um, so that gave me a, a significant RAM boost as well because I've been swapping RAM between a few different machines. So every now and then this thing was only sitting with 16 gigs of RAM. So having that extra ZFS cache is really, really nice when I'm doing stuff. But on the Windows side, it turned out that in Intel's infinite wisdom and possibly Framework's infinite wisdom, they made the display the absolute most garbage worst display I've ever seen in my whole freaking life on a laptop. Yeah, I'm kind of mad about that one too because the fact I didn't even replace the screen, I only replaced the motherboard and that should not do what it does to the screen because it turns out it's a GPU driver option and it's not trivial to know how to actually deal with it. So I'm gonna move the camera and for the rest of this video, I'm only gonna be focusing on the screen but because it is a GPU issue in the way that it's done. I can't do normal screen recording. This only affects this LCD the way it's wired into this motherboard. It will not affect the HDMI or DisplayPort or USB video outputs on this machine. So I'm gonna have to do direct screen recording with the camera. So I'm gonna move the camera and I'm not gonna be in the rest of this video other than you might see my hands touching the laptop in front of the, the, uh, the thing. So I'm gonna go do that real quick. Oh, I still can't get enough F-Zero if you couldn't tell. This is literally my uh, permanent wallpaper on this machine. And I have an animated F-Zero wallpaper on my main workstation. Anyway, so here's the desktop. And what I noticed immediately, let's open up a console window here. I'm going to drag this around. It seems normal, right? But look at the top left corner specifically. Look right up here at the recycle bin icon, right? So now as I drag this over, Notice what happens to the background. Notice how anywhere this window gets close to, like notice the bottom left down there, the start bar, it gets really, really bright. It is doing this weird level boosting all over the screen, wherever there's something dark and light next to each other. And it's not fully showing up on camera, but it's, it's happening all over the screen. So next I'm gonna open up Sublime Text which instead of a black background has this dark gray background, right? Like right here, do you notice the bottom of the window has that like little orb at the bottom of it? But as I move this around, it kind of got bright at the top and you can see kind of the, the brightness of the window just kind of flickering in and out in different places. And yes, I know I need to clean the screen, that's part of the problem, but um, like right here, you can see how this is like right there, you can see like a glow orb here and a glow orb right here. You may think that's dynamic backlighting, but it's actually not, it turns out. This is actually a dynamic contrast when you're in a really bright environment, if you take the laptop outside, for instance. So I had to bring my light over really close to simulate being outside. But for me, it happens when I'm just sitting next to a bright window. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to get rid of that because a lot of people online have been asking, because it is not obvious, it is not, it's not a trivial thing on how to get rid of that. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna open up the Intel Graphics Command Center, not to be confused with the Arc Control Center because you know right now Intel is in this weird transitional phase. And uh, this thing takes forever to load for whatever reason. And the, uh, the, the setting is supposed to be right here. It's apparently missing. Why is that? Well, uh, one, uh, sleuth on the internet told me this really weird way to do this. I forget which forum post I saw this on or what site I was even on. And it was specific to the framework that they said that uh, this was an issue on. So what they did is they closed that out. They reached up here. There's a physical switch on the top 
to turn on the camera. It's the camera will be physically hardwired on and off. And then they rebooted their laptop. That's the microphone. I'm an idiot. It would help if I turned the right switch on. I thought I was looking at these to make sure I had the right one. Anyway, that's the camera. This right here is actually a really good screen to show the, um, the effect that I was talking about earlier. Is based on the position of my light. You can see how like the whole screen will light up and darken based on how much light is being projected on the screen which I don't want. I can just adjust the backlight myself, even though the setting they're changing is not even the backlight. And now, after a few restarts of the Intel app, because it's being finicky again, uh, this new Lighting Aware Content Enhancement, that's what they call it. They think that this right here to this right here is somehow enhancing. They think that right there, that feature, is enhanced lighting. Like you can see this whole thing light up. You can see the corner up there again, like with the background. You can see the whole background just get brighter as I do this. They seem to think that's actually better, especially for somebody like me who's a content creator. No, Intel, stop it. Let's turn that off. Thank you. Finally, Intel framework, whoever's responsible for this. It's a terrible feature. It is a terrible idea. It should not have been on by default. It should be off by default. It makes things look like crap. Flat colored windows should not have blooms all over them. I could not capture it on camera well enough what this was doing to sublime text. And that's just a basic text editor. I want to focus on my text. I don't want the background shimmering in and out of existence as I'm dragging the window through the screen or other windows are dragged around it. That is a terrible experience when I'm trying to focus on writing code or doing other things. I bought a framework laptop because it's supposed to be one of the most Linux, Unix, FreeBSD, open source, developer-friendly systems in the world. That's what it was intended to do. And the 13th gen Intel motherboard on that ruined that experience with the way this display is. And the fact that it, I had to go way, way out of my way to figure out how the hell to get rid of that. Googling, for the most part, did not return the simple answer that you have to turn the webcam on to get the option to disable your enhanced display. Things like this, as a software engineer myself, piss me off. And the reason it pisses me off is because it, some engineer somewhere had to go out of their way to program this, to have that option disabled if you don't have a webcam. Why? Why? <laughs> Who thought that was a good idea? On top of the fact that it makes your display looks like absolute horseshit garbage, besides that, why does the webcam have to be turned on for the feature option to even show up? This is a terrible design beginning to end. And I want every other developer out there to realize stuff like this. Take a step back and think of what you're doing with your software. This is a bad user experience. There's a dedicated light sensor on this. So even with the webcam fully disabled, the screen, as you saw, was still getting brighter and darker. Intel was not using the webcam for that. Why the hell does the existence of the webcam matter to that feature in the software? There is no good answer for that. And I see crap like this on the daily basis in countless applications in open source, closed source, commercial, free, does not matter. And I just cannot grasp in my mind what engineer went through the entire process of wanting to do this, what product manager approved this, what release engineering team decided to do this, what QA had to go through with this. Like the number of people in a large corporation like this that touched that piece of software. And then for this to hit the market and the flood of forum posts that I've seen of everyone trying to figure out how the hell to get rid of this option. And not a single one of those forum posts, even on frameworks on website did not have an answer. 
one comment after hours of research on the internet finally said, turn your webcam on. I did, rebooted, changed the option, blown away on how stupidly simple that was, yet horribly complex. Developers, don't be like that. I'm saying that as an engineer myself. Anyway, until next time, I hope you enjoy.